red chair right over in the corner. Yes, sir. Just have a seat right there. Yes, sir. Do you have any water? Sir? You want room Thank temperature you. or cold? Oh, okay. room temperature, please. All right. Thank you. Detective Lee, this is my partner, Detective Barnhart. Hey, um, man. Okay. Your name is it no North? North? North Samuel Cole. North Samuel Cole. Bridge. What do you go by? North. North. Okay. What's your uh, What's your date of birth? Uh, September uh, 24th, 1993. September 24th. Yes, sir. 93. Oh, you just had a birthday, huh? Yeah. Okay. And what is your current address? Uh, 2076 Williston Drive East. 2076 Williston. At your parents' house? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, North, uh, it's my understanding is uh, you came down here on your own free will to help us uh, of course. find uh, find Teresa, right? Right. Now, what's your relationship to her? Um, boyfriend slash close friend slash just you know, just family, kind of. All right, Cole, can you, uh, I mean, North, can you read and write? Yes, very well. All right, what's the uh, highest level of education you have? Um, high school diploma. High school? Where'd you go to high school? Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis. And are you currently under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? Uh, just marijuana, but it's pretty much uh, faded, faded away by now. When was the last time you smoked some weed? Um, Four hours ago, roughly. <coughs> but no alcohol? Uh, no, sir. All right, cool. Do me a favor yes, and uh, read this, hold on. Read this top line out loud for me that starts with you and ends in Constitution. Read it out loud for me. Okay. You have the following rights under the United States Constitution. Right. You do not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the rest of your rights, okay? And it doesn't say that you're in trouble. Like no, I know just you trying to make this an official statement. You know, to Proving that you didn't force me to say exactly. anything. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the rest of your rights. And after I read you each one, I'm going to ask you if you understand. Mm -hmm. And when I ask you if you understand, just answer yes or no for me out loud. Don't just yes, nod your head. All right. Okay. All right. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and have the lawyer with you during any question. Do you understand? Yes. If you do answer, if you can't afford to hire an attorney, I'm sorry. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, we'll be appointed for you before any questioning, if you wish. Understand? Yes. If you do answer questions, you have to stop answering questions at any time. Exalt the lawyer. Understand? Yes. All right. Just do me a favor and sign that top line for me, saying that I read your rights and that you understand. So, you said you and Teresa are boyfriend girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, we, we try not to label it. Try not to label it? How long have y'all been uh, in this relationship? About two months now. About two months? Mm -hmm. I've, known her, I've known her for quite a while, though. How long have you known her? Uh, since 2009. Since 2009? Yes, sir. How'd y'all meet? Um... Well, we got to really know each other through a mutual friend about a year and a half, two years ago. <clears throat> How'd you meet her in 09, though? Um, Did you just go to school together? Or? No, I had a friend that knew her, so I knew of her at oh, okay. so I didn't really like but her. But you said about a year ago is when somebody kind of introduced you all. Right. Okay. And who was that that introduced you all? Uh, Roger. Roger? Hmm? <coughs> And then you guys just kind of remain friends, and then yeah, yeah, like good really good chemistry, you know. And then recent, so it's about you said two months ago is when y'all started 
I guess dating, if quote unquote, if you will. Yeah. Uh, so when was uh, the last time you spoke to her? Um, I want to say between one and two o'clock, roughly, in the afternoon today, roughly. On Sunday. Okay. And did you speak to her in person or over the phone? In person. In person. Yeah. Okay. Where were you guys at when you got? Uh, my house. At your house on Williston. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, she usually comes over every every day, every other day. And you said that was between one and one thirty. Roughly. <coughs> did she come over, or was she already there? Um, I had ordered her a lift over. You had ordered her a lift to come over to your house. Where was she? Where was she coming from? Do you know? Her house. Her house. And where's that? Um, it's right next to the districts on Kernan off a of beach. Okay. It's a small little uh, neighborhood, in Ashley North, of Ashley South, I believe. I have her address and all the information on my phone. So you order her a lift, mm -hmm. and then she gets to your house between like one and uh, one thirty. No, no, she 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 came over way earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Came over around like uh, 10, 10, 9.30. So you guys don't take my word like verbatim on that because this is just a normal day. Yeah, 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 normal day for us, you know, we don't really keep track of every second. We're just trying to get the ballpark. Right, so right, right. So okay. about 10 a.m. she gets to about your house, right? You guys are just, what, hanging out? Yeah. Do you need me to go into details? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, um, a lot of the time we just listen to music, you know, we do intimate things, we dance, and um, we smoke a little bit, and uh, we eat. That's you it. you order the lift on your phone, your cell phone? Yes, right? sir. What's your number to that cell phone? Uh, 904-660-4350. Uh -huh. What kind of phone is that? iPhone 7 Plus. iPhone 7 Plus? Mm -hmm. How long have you been using that phone? Um, since the very beginning of the year. Gotcha. December 29th okay. of uh, 2020. Okay. Does um, Teresa have a phone? She does not. She does not? No, I've been urging her and urging her to get a job and, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I'll tell her, I'll help you, like, with money, you know, if that's the case, but I know better than to do everything mm -hmm. for somebody and I, I've I understand how that ends up playing out so how do you get a hold of her then if, he, if she doesn't have fun? um she has a laptop on Facebook which she's on 24 7 while she's at the house mm -hmm. and she'll message me and we'll make up a plan and she'll be like okay I'm on my way or okay I'm ready you know mm -hmm. stuff like that and that's is, that, is that what you did today is you sent her you sent her a message yes. on, on Facebook mm -hmm. <coughs> Did she bring that laptop with her to your house? No, no, no she always, that's her father's laptop and she always right. leaves it at home. And that's the only method that you have of communicating with her? Um, she calls me off of her home line sometimes because okay. she still has one for some reason. Okay, well her parents so. Yeah, but okay. I've installed security systems and they're about extinct nowadays. So you said you lost, spoke to her between 1 and one thirty. so what, where did she go from there? Um, she was supposed to be going home. Okay. Yeah. How was she supposed to get home? She was walking home, you know, I insisted on ordering another lift, but she's so humble, she feels bad, and mm -hmm. she just really said, no, let me walk, let me walk, you know, we need to save money, and this and that, so. So she left your house and walked? Yes, sir. Is that typical for her to walk home from your house? Or? Um, no, not typical. She does walk home a lot, you know, from Zach's home into Zach's home. That is the person she does her ice with. And the person who I try to, you know, get her to, you know, not be around so much, not do the ice so much with. And who's Zach? Zach Morgan mm -hmm. is somebody who she believes is her cousin. Mm -hmm. Who she admitted to me last night? It was then said, "Guess what? Zach finally admitted that he was my cousin." 
and it's someone she has sexual uh, relationships with, so it's very tricky. She's um uh, a clinically in insane person, if mm -hmm. you will. She has bipolar, uh, borderline personality, schizophrenia. Y you can name the list. Great person, great human, worth the time and energy, any investment. But mm -hmm. the those are the facts. If that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So she's she's known to do ice. Have you seen her do ice before? Do you do it with her? Okay. I did it with her on a, uh, a couple times because I, I discouraged her from doing it so many times that I felt like a hypocrite and I said, you know what, I'll do it so I know what it feels like for you. And then I did it and I told her, hey, you don't need it. I don't want you on this stuff. It's a waste of money. And I mean, the high is just kind of paranoia, if anything. And it explains why you kind of, you know, tweak out and act a little paranoid at times. Has she been that way with you, where she's acting all paranoid? No, she, um, she's done it once or twice, but usually I'm able to like hug her and calm her down, and she she'll smile and realize that it's a. Uh, y'all didn't do any ice today. Actually, not sir. Or I guess when y'all were hanging out earlier. No sir. So, no. no. Just smoke some weed. Mm -hmm. And weed doesn't make her like act any kind of way. She actually, she actually tries to stay away from weed because she doesn't like the way it feels and she didn't smoke any weed today. I, I smoked like one or two hits. It's it's not a real big uh, thing in my life anymore at this point. Do you do anything besides weed? Uh, no, sir. You don't I, have like a preference on, you know, you said ice is her thing. You don't have a... No, I, I drink every now and then. Yeah, but just, just drinking and weed? Yeah. How many times did you do ice with her? Um, two times. Just two times? How recent was that? If today is Monday, I would say last week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. So when Teresa left her house, she's walking. Mm -hmm. And that's the last time you spoke to her? Mm -hmm. And usually her plan is to message me as soon as she gets home so I know she's okay. Mm -hmm. she, she enjoys the walk. She walks from her house to the Dollar General by Huffman all the time. She just her thing where is where does Zach live okay I have his address on my phone and I wanted you guys to stop by him and see if he may maybe she's with him is, is my thing have you been able to talk to him Zach Morgan He refused to give me his phone number. I'm not uh, familiar with that side of town, so it's Minglewood close to your Oh, house yeah, it's close to my house. It's Bart Brookville Elementary School on St. John, roughly around St. John's. <coughs> so not, not too far from where I live, Sun Lakes area. Like, would it be within walking distance? From? From your house? Um, it would be a good four miles that you wouldn't want to walk. Well, I wouldn't want to walk, but for her, she had would do it, you know. She had <clears throat> and when she left your house, she said she was. She said she told you she was going home, or you just assumed she was going home. Both. She said she told you. Yes, and I I believed her. Okay. What did you do after that? Um, I just went back and just turned um, my TV, turned my music up, and just um, just relaxed. You didn't go anywhere or no. hang out with anybody else? Nope. <coughs> nope. I usually stay away from all of my other older friends and I've replaced them with Teresa. And I've put more of my time and energy into her. I try to see that flower blossom because I know it, it's, it's blossoming. So. Do you care for her a lot? A lot. A lot. So. Otherwise, I would I would not be here unless I actually yeah. had to, you know. Well, so how can you help us find her? Okay, so you have Zach's um, information, his address. A good idea would be to start by asking him. Um, there's, um, I know she got hard, which is crack, I believe, right, mm -hmm. from a guy named Hassan Ware. And I think she makes her do, you know, sexual things to get it. Um, 
and I don't know if anything occurred between the two, two of them and escalated from there. Um, again, I'm just spec speculating and throwing things out there. I'm not accusing or, you know. Did it upset you that you knew she was doing Absolutely. sexual things with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Thought it out. You weren't good with that? No, but, you know, the thing is, what she taught me is to accept and love no matter what, you know, and to not hold any types of resentment or arbor. And the thing is, I've had a history of addiction issues, so I understand it. So yeah. it's what were you addicted to? Um, I had a real problem with Xanax. Xanax? Mm-hmm. Okay. And mixing it with a little bit of alcohol <coughs> makes you a little, you know. So your parents' house over there uh, on, on Williston Drive, do you actually stay there, like, full-time? Um, like, I, inside the house? No, no, I, I've been staying on the patio for the past two months. And that's where she would come over and we would, you know, hang out and spend the day or the night. Like, is there, like, a like a, like a a setup on the patio for you? Like, bed and, mm. like, TV and all yes, that stuff? Sir. And were your parents home today, this afternoon, when uh, when Teresa was over there? Yeah, my mom was home in the morning. In the morning? Mm. When she so your home. mom saw Teresa, she talked to her? Um, I can't say for certain. I don't, I don't know, because I don't know if my mom came out there or not that morning. But she, she often does and says hi to Teresa. And maybe it's something you can talk to her and ask her. To verify with her, um, but your but your parents, they, they know they know Teresa. They very well. Yeah, they yeah, recognize we, her if they saw we her. We went uh, to dinner together uh, for our birthday a couple days ago to watch the uh, Sunday game. Because her birthday was the 18th, mine's the 24th. <coughs> no, they, they 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 love her. You know. I'm I'm trying. I'm. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know how serious it is because I, I know she's she has the tendency to go out and go to the beach bars with, you know, Michaela, her friend, or Alexa, her friend, spend the night with some guys she met, and then not hit me up until the next day. So I don't know how serious it is, you know. Is it common for her to uh, go, like, long periods of time without getting in contact with you? Long periods of time is meaning two days yes four no so two days it's normal for her to like you know one or two yeah so we go see you for three a little or bit. four and i'll i'd be i'd feel some type of way has that happened though like if y'all got to a bad argument or no no you have to always go again within a couple days no because it's like amnesia it's, we're always good we're always good no yeah. yeah. within a day or two y'all are good again always forgive and forget no so you said that you never left your house today after uh, after Teresa left, mm -hmm. right? Did you go yes, anywhere before Teresa came over to your house? Um, I went with the li the Lyft driver to go get her. Uh, I made the mistake of um, ordering the the Lyft from my address to my address. I got uh, in the Lyft, told the Lyft driver he was really cool. He said it's okay, don't worry about it. I'll go grab her and bring her back. Right, so the Lyft driver came to your house first? Right. Inadvertently, you just... Right, 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 right. And you didn't go, but you didn't go anywhere else with anybody else today? No, sir. Okay. You didn't go any place with, uh, with your friend Mickinson, Mick? You know Mick? I know Mickinson. Okay. You didn't go anywhere with him today? Um... Boy, I've seen Mickinson today. I don't remember where it was, but um, I don't think I went anywhere in specific with him. I think I may have just seen him outside and just... Seen uh, him outside how? Um, driving by. Just told him, you know, good friend. I love him. Stay up. So he was just, you, you were just standing outside your house and he just come driving by? Yeah, and that's happened before, so... We, we usually catch up every every time we do we see each other physically. Where does he live? I, I'm not exactly sure now. I know he moved out. I know he grew up in the neighborhood I lived in, though. Okay. 
Do you remember about what time that was when you saw him? No, I would say later on in the afternoon. Before or after Teresa left? After. After Teresa left? I would have to say. <sighs> and you said he was driving by? He wasn't like walking by or? No, he was driving. I'm pretty driving. sure he was driving, yeah. Who saw who first? Did you, did you see him or did he? He see usually him? always sees me first. Okay. Yeah. And did he just pull up to your house? Yeah, or? yeah, that's usually how it works with him. Yeah. He just pulled up? Mm -hmm. But you didn't go, you didn't get in his car? I think I got in his car and we rode around just for a second and, you know, just to talk to Chad to make sure we were both doing okay. And then he let me out and I went, you know, walked right back inside. Did y'all do anything while you were driving around? Just talk. Just talking, so you didn't like you know, smoke weed? No, no, sir. No. Does he smoke weed? Um, I mean, I'd rather not put his business out there, but uh, he smokes and drinks. He smokes and drinks? Right. But y'all didn't smoke any weed? Today. No, no, no. He, he smokes crazy. and drinks in his, his free time, and he makes <coughs> music. Would there be any reason why Mickinson would say that you did something to harm Teresa? No. Did he? I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. No. No. There's no reason for him to say that you did something to Teresa and then threw her in a lake? What? No. Are you? Are you no. <coughs> I'm asking you these questions, you know, and... No, sir. You know, because I asked you before if you had left your house and gone anywhere. You said no. My house, right? Yeah, your house. Mm -hmm. And then you said that Mickinson just kind of rolled by, you guys said what's up, and that was it. That went from that to now you in his car, rolling around, you know, driving around. Right. So. I don't remember exactly the, the, is it the exact step by step, you know, how my day was, because I don't, you know. Well, the biggest thing here, North, is finding Teresa. Absolutely. All right. And we brought you down here because, you know, you want to help us find her. But at the same time, you know, Mickinson is telling us that you guys are riding around. You said that you killed her and threw her in a lake. No, I, I did not say that. I did not say that. <coughs> So you're saying he's a liar? Yes, sir. Why would he lie about that? I have no clue. Hmm. I mean, could you have said, just said that to him in, in, in jest? No. That's not funny. Then where'd that shit come from, man? I don't know. I'm really kind of pissed off right now. I'm, I'm what, are you pissed off at him? Yes, sir. Because you see how that looks, right? Absolutely. <laughs> For my life on the line if, if anything happens to Teresa. So. Mr. Pritchett, how'd you get all banged up, man? You're limping, you got scratches and red marks all over you. I played basketball and it got a little rough. My uh, ankle was from the... Um, Who'd you play basketball with? A whole bunch of friends at uh, Huffman. Today? Yes, sir. So that's another place you went that you didn't say that you forgot about earlier? Oh, if if you would ask me through what I did throughout my whole day, I would have gone through the whole day with you guys. Y'all play some rough. Y'all play some rough basketball, man. I played ball basketball growing up too. I Huffman, got all scratched Huffman up. Huffman is there. different. Yeah. <coughs> Huffman is different. I'll ball harder. And I haven't yeah. balled in a while too, so my body wasn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. I played some basketball too. I ain't get scratched up like that. The only time I got scratched up like that is when I was trouncing through the woods. I get what you're implying, implying but that. Well, do you get why we're implying it? We didn't make it up, right? You know, somebody's saying this. You know, obviously, somebody's very concerned about this mm -hmm. young lady, as we are. Yeah. Right? So if something happened to her, be it by you or someone else, the most important thing we can do now is focus on working together and trying to find her, right? So Ab absolutely. And I'm, I'm here to do whatever I can to help. All right, so where is she? 
I, I do not know, sir. I think you do know. Okay, and I'm willing to do whatever I can to help you, but I, I can't just make up a lie and tell you that I know where she's at when she doesn't. Well, what's Mickinson's background then? I mean, is there some reason why he would say this? Is he... He's just an old friend of mine. Has he ever been known to be an off-the-wall kind of guy with this kind of stuff? I mean... Is he going to make some shit up about you? I, I haven't really associated with Mickinson in the past year or so. Yeah, but you, he just happened to be driving by today, and y'all got in the car, and we're chilling together, listening to music and talking, so, I mean, what were y'all talking about? Nothing, just life, like we always do. He usually tells me about where he's at in life, I usually tell him about where I'm at life, where I'm at in life, you know, just stuff like that. So, where are you at in life? Um, it's been an up and down roller coaster for me. I was a medical assistant for the first six months of the week. Quit that, started working at the Dollar Tree, uh, applied at Best Bet, and now I'm waiting for that to go through. So if something bad has happened, Teresa, who, who, should, who should we look at? If something has bad happened to her, mm -hmm. I would keep it wide open because she knows so many people and talks to so many people that it's... <coughs> What time did, did you go over to Huffman to play basketball? Um, 7, roughly. 7 p.m.? S yep, 6.30 to 7, roughly. Now, when you say you were at Huffman playing basketball, like, where exactly, like, is there... Oh, Huff Huffman Park, I don't know. Huffman Park? You just walk up there? You didn't go up there with anybody else. You get a ride. You walked up there. The ball. Okay. No, I, I mean I know where Huffman Park is. So that's that's the park, right? Yeah, it's not far. <coughs> or why did you miss it? Why did you mention like Zach so specifically earlier? Because you said she, Teresa. Because <laughs> because aside from me, right. Zach is one of her really close friends. Yeah, but you okay. Well, you said she was known to hook up with lots of guys. I was just kind of wondering why you threw you know you mentioned because that, honestly, me. like if there were a guy one and two, it would be us. Okay, that's why. And you didn't like that, obviously. I loved it. I loved that he cared for her, and I wanted him to help. Right, <laughs> but you didn't. You said you didn't like the fact that you knew she was basically going back between. You and him as well, no, no. too. I didn't like the fact that she was doing those things she was doing with, you know, her body for those other things. Okay. Because you didn't act like it was any big deal that you said she goes to the beaches and hooks up with other dudes and stuff. Right? Yeah, no, and that's so, not a big deal. I just don't like her selling her body for. Her. Okay. But you feel like she cares for Zach, kind of like on the same level she cares for you? Okay. And I encourage her to do so because, you know, he's a great guy and it's. All the, they make you feel jealous or anything, or just kind of feel like some type of way about that, like it wasn't. No, no. Maybe, maybe at first too, but then I started to understand the dynamic, and I, I became more comfortable with it. What was y'all's visit like today? Did y'all does that come up? Um, no. Okay. Like it was cool. Y'all didn't have any argument at all about anything. No, I mean, just relaxed vibe, listening to music. And the last you knew, she was just walking Dance. off on foot from your house. Okay. You walk her down the, to the end of the street or anything like that? I walk her towards the front of my house. Just to the front of the house? Yes, okay. When you contacted her on Facebook, um, what's her Facebook account? She has like five. Uh, which one did you Which one did you talk to her on? The main one. Which is, which is what? Which one? Do you want me to say? Yeah. This one. Did you message her? Yes. Okay. Is that from today or is that? Yes, sir. What time are these messages on? So you video chatted with her at one thirty. Uh, yeah, Saturday after in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, 
Can I assist you talking to her earlier to get her to come over? Mm -hmm. So after, oh, put the camera down, oh, the other way. So after this video chat, I'll oh, go back. So that's when she leaves. So she's she's left at that point. Mm -hmm. And then you don't. Know, she does. She responds back to you. That's her responding, right? Yeah, right before she's leaving. This is the account that you talk to her on. You don't talk to her on any of the other ones. Uh, does, no. she, does she use them at all, or I don't think so. You don't think so. Why does she have so many Facebook accounts? Um, I, from what she told me, she's been hacked and stuff like that. Okay. Have you ever met her parents? Um, I briefly met her mother. <coughs> Just like saying hey. Like where was that encounter at? Uh, in front of her house. In front of her house. So you've been to her house before? Yes. And her, her mom at least knows you. Mm -hmm. she, well, she was messaging me right before you guys showed up asking where she was at. Who did? Her mom? Yes. Yes, sir. How did you uh, pay for the lift? Um, uh, a cash app card. Cash app card? Yes, sir. Where are you getting money from? I work at the Dollar Tree. Which one? Uh, the one at St. John's and Atlantic. And I worked as a medical assistant the first half of the year. And I made more money and saved a little bit up. <coughs> All right, to uh, help us uh, locate Teresa, because mm -hmm. you do have messages from her on your on you know, from Facebook and whatnot, would you be willing to give us consent to uh, download your phone so we can you know get some information to try to find where she's at? Sure thing. Your last name P R P R I D G E N. Do me a favor and then just initial there and there after you read that and then sign there. Yeah, sign right there for me. I have the right to refuse to consent to the search of my property and what am I signing? Which part? Uh, just initial these two lines there and then sign right there. Okay. And then hope like I will try to get it as it is. I sign for the part. And then I'll uh, try to get your phone back to you okay. as soon as possible. Okay. 
does Teresa have any known like hangout spots where she might go like just in the woods behind her house in the woods behind her house yes, but I mean I doubt she'd be hiding there for long enough no to I'm just saying worry. like the last place you knew her to be though was leaving her house right just trying to figure out how to gauge where we start does your phone actually like make can you make calls on your phone or does it have to be hooked up to Wi-Fi no I have a phone plan, phone plan. with a mint, mint mobile who is it? Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Yeah, you should look into it. It's uh, oh, yeah? it's fifteen twenty dollars a month, and you can get a lot more than you can for paying, you know, forty, fifty, sixty with other plans. Hmm. You get like it, uh, it's owned by Ryan Reynolds. You get like uh, internet and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they even have an app for it. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Well, give us a second here. I'm going to go uh, get the guys to come download your phone right quick. Okay. And then um, we'll be back in here in a second. How you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm just in here freezing. I've been here for a while now. I just okay, let me get you a blanket. Please. All right. And uh, some like socks or something. Two four. All right. Bridging. All right, man, we're going to get you out of here and get your phone back to you and all that stuff, all right? But before we do that, uh, all right, you know, we had some inconsistencies earlier, so I'm going to give you this opportunity to kind of take us back through Sunday, 
September 26th. All right, just kind of take us through the, your the day's events. Don't leave nothing out. All right, and just go line by line, incident by incident. All right, because you kind of left some stuff out before, so let's just clear all that stuff up. Okay. So you want me to recap the entire day? Sir? Yeah, man. Let's mm. uh, let's start from uh, you know when you woke up Sunday. Whenever, whenever you woke up, get your day started. Go from there. Mm. Started doing normal stuff, man. Just hygienic stuff. Like what time? What time did you get up? Uh, 10, 30, 11. 30 in the morning? Yes, okay. You talk to your parents at all that day when you got up, or did you um, see them? No, not that morning. Where were they at? I'm not a hundred percent sure, okay. sir. Okay. So you get up at ten, then what? What do you do after that? Um. Then I talked to Teresa. Um. Turn on my Xbox. Start listening to music. Um. We just sort of talk to each other, see what she's doing. And So you talk to Teresa around what time is that? Uh, I I can't tell you for sure, so can you give me ballpark? Yeah, um eleven ish. Eleven ish. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then you um what do you do after you're talking to her, you're listening to music? Yeah, no, we um agreed on um, her coming over, and then I ordered the lift and made the mistake of ordering it from my address to my address. Mm -hmm. So I, I tried to change it, but I ended up just getting into the uh, car and I, explaining it to the, the guy. And <coughs> he said it's okay. He'll, you know, go get her. And I'll go get her back. and bring her back. Mm -hmm. so. so you go get her. About what time do you think you're at her house to get her? Hard to say. Uh, closer to 12, maybe? Closer to 12. If I could write it perfectly for you, I would. Um, Did, uh, was anybody home at her house when you got there? Um, not to my knowledge, but there very well could have been. Okay. But you, you didn't say hi to anybody at her house? You just No, no. Did you go inside to go get her? Or? Um, no. You just, you just went to the, the front door? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get to her house, you get to the front door, you get with Teresa. You guys get back in the lift car and go back to your house? Mm -hmm. You go directly to your house or do you stop anywhere else on the way? No, we went straight home. Straight home? So you get to your house and then what? Um, and we just start doing what we're normally doing. Just cuddling, listening to music, dancing. And you guys are out on the lanai at your parents' house? Mm -hmm. So what time do you think you get back to your house with Teresa? Um, from the lift? Mm -hmm. It's really hard to tell. I said, just ballpark, ballpark it for me if you can. Um, closer to 12. Oh, you said you were at her house closer to 12, so. It's, it's between 11, 12, and 1 when, when <coughs> all these... Let me ask you this, were you, were you already high when you went to go get her? Or no. while you were with her? No. Because you guys said you smoked, right? Yeah. Okay. No. So, so did you smoke back at your place, or...? Um, I, I think I took a couple of hits. She didn't. She doesn't really smoke like that. Um, so maybe it was a little after 12 then. Okay. I'm not trying to be, you know, I know I get, I get, I get. It's just I don't... I don't <laughs> play it back in my head each day and how it all plays out like that, you know. I'm sorry. You know. So you get back to your house and you guys are hanging out. Um, how long were you guys there? I want to say three hours, two hours, two, two to three hours. Two to three hours. So what do you do after those two to three hours? Nothing. Just that's it. We just decide that maybe we'll hang out later, probably. So she just leaves? Yeah. By herself? Right. Right. It's a very normal thing with us. Very independent woman. 
Does she say where she's going? Oh yeah, she said she was going to go home. Going home? Mm -hmm. And she was just going to walk? Right. And you stayed home? You didn't follow her? You didn't go with her? And you said that's about two or three hours after you guys got back to your house? Roughly. Roughly two or three hours? Okay. It's still daylight out, though, right? Yes. Okay. So what do you do after the, after she leaves? Well, I just go back in, um, get on my Xbox, listen to music, and sort of just wait for her to get back home so I can talk to her and know she's okay and just occupy myself. Well, normally I play video games, write music, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So is that what you did for the rest of the day? Mm. No, not for the rest of the day because I ended up going uh, to Huffman and played basketball whenever I didn't hear from her. Because okay. I got a little upset that I didn't hear from her, so I went and played basketball and did my own thing that night. Why were you upset you didn't hear from her? No, just because we always communicate, talk back and forth. There's nothing like, you know. Mm -hmm. just you guys didn't get in a fight at all? No. That's why she left? No. No, she just left because it was time for Yeah, her. no, no, we, yeah, we... We don't try to hang out all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after, so you go to Huffman to play basketball. Did you do anything before? Um, no, N not to my knowledge, no. What did you do after that? Um, I asked my buddy to bring me home because of how bad my ankle was, and he did so. And your and your buddy, that's um. Making some, making some. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, another gentleman up at the court. Uh, who was that? Um, his name is Terrell. And um, he uh, brought me home, or to my parents' home, where I packed up my stuff and then went over to Kaz's stuff, Kaz's place. <coughs> so, so Mickelson was the one that dropped you off at the park, right? I believe I believe so. I don't remember if he did or not, honestly. But you're saying Terrell is definitely the one that drove you home from for the park. For sure, for sure. How did uh, how did you how did how did uh, Mickinson like come in contact with you today? Um, it must have been just random sighting. Just random sighting. Yes, sir. You didn't like call him or ask him to come get you. No, I don't. No, no, I don't think so. No. Where did he pick you up at? I don't remember exactly. Probably somewhere around the neighborhood because that's usually where we end up seeing each other. But you weren't at the park when he picked you up? No. I was probably on my way to the park, honestly. Mm. Yeah. You were on your way to the park? Probably. Because it ha that's happened multiple times. But time. was it before or after you played basketball when you ran into him? Oh, before, for sure. Before? Yes, sir. Alright, so... Where do you guys go? You and Mickinson. Um, we just drive around, talk a little bit, and um, then he just drops me off at the park, and um, that's it. Did you guys stop anywhere before y'all get to the parks? Mm, not that I remember of, no. No? So basically, he picks you up, you guys drive around, he takes you straight to the park, and that's it? You guys don't stop anywhere together? Mm, not that I remember, no sir. How much did, what kind of, like, how much did you smoke yesterday? Did you do anything besides smoking? No, no I, and I didn't smoke that much, honestly. No. Okay. <coughs> so after you play ball, how, so how do you get home from, from playing ball? You said uh, your ankle's fucked up, so how do you get home? Um, Terrell was, you know, there and he was able to bring me home. Okay. And around what time was that? Ooh, let's say 8.30ish. It's still light out or is it dark? Uh, uh, no, it was night time. Night time? 8.30 mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright, so what do you do when you get home? Um, I go into my backyard and then I start reaching out to friends to see who I can possibly go and stay the night with and it ended up being Kaz who was receptive. Okay. And, and where does Kaz stay? Uh, in Mayport. Mayport? And how did you get to Kaz's house? Uh, my sister brought me. Your sister took you there? You didn't ask Mickinson to stay with him? 
Um, I did. I did. And he respectfully said he couldn't. Okay. Yeah. He respectfully said he couldn't. Yeah, and I understood that for sure. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You know, we talked to your parents. Um, you know, we've talked to Teresa's parents and her family. That's obviously they're very concerned right now. And you being the last person to see her. All right. Yeah. You kind of play a key role in this right now. No, I understand. And that's why I'm... Now, what makes it, makes it difficult, though, North, is that, you know, your buddy Mickinson, you know, he calls us. He actually comes down here to the police station to tell us that while you guys are riding around, you tell him that you killed Teresa. I, I don't know where he got that from or why he said that. I mean... I spoke to Mickinson myself, and he's not the type of person that's going to make some shit up. No, and I've known Mickinson for a while too, but that's that's definitely not what, I don't know, maybe he took something out of context, or maybe... He said, he said you told her that you strangled her and drowned her. No, sir. So, that's not <laughs> taken, you can't really take that out of context. No, sir, that's honestly, and that's not even fair for me to hear. Cause that's not right and that's not i would never do that and that's north let me ask you this then what if we find teresa and she's in the water and been strangled then what i'd be devastated i think you'd be more than devastated at that point after somebody said that that's exactly what you said you did to her i mean, I mean did y'all get into fight yeah was it an accident man hmm? Crazy shit happens sometimes, man, with emotion, love. I mean, do you care about her at all? I do, sir. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I love her. You love her? I love her to death. You love her to death? You guys are scaring me now. Well, right. well we're trying to figure so out what happened There's a young lady that's missing and no one knows where she is, okay? And then there's another guy yeah. saying that you claimed to be responsible for that, so obviously. Well, I know. So yeah. Your friend that you were riding around in the car with said that you told him you strangled uh, and killed her. I wouldn't do that. She knows I wouldn't do that. Then where is she? I'm not sure. But when she when she pops up, I'll, I'll be very relieved. <laughs> is she going to pop up? Knowing her, yeah. So where would that story come from then? Why would you tell me that? I have no clue why he said that. No clue. Well, he's wondering why you said that. I, I'm, I'll talk to him and I'll straighten it out with him, but I, I do not know why he would come up with something like that. That's North, in the, the first time we talked, you left out the fact that you rode with a Lyft driver to the house to get Teresa. You left out the fact that you got in a car and drove around with Mickinson. And you left out the fact that you rode at a park ball and you said you stayed at home all day. All right. All right. Well, I, I'm sorry about that. I, I wasn't sure about how important each detail was. Well, we're talking less than 24 hours, you know, mm -hmm. that this stuff had happened. Okay. I can tell you about it Sunday. Well, here's the thing. I didn't know something so severe was, like, right. occurring, so... Right. The, well, mm -hmm. the first time we talked to you, that had only been, like, 12 hours since all that happened. You know, it wasn't like it had been a long time ago. So... Yeah, you said you got those scratches and shit on your arms and legs from playing basketball? Basketball? Yeah. No, I, we, we played rough out there. I fell a few times, yeah. Yeah, I ain't buying that, man. Oh, I mean, did you, like I said, those, to me, those scratches on you, I'm looking at them right now, man, that's not from playing ball. That shit's from going through the woods. Did you take a shortcut through the woods or anything to get to the, get to the park? No, sir. I'm, no, sir. I'm sorry if you don't believe me, but no, sir. Yeah, I would like to go now. Well, stand by. Like I said, we got to wait on your phone, and we're getting uh, somebody to come and photograph your uh, your injuries from playing ball. All right. Okay. <coughs> but in the meantime, you think about uh, think about her and where she's at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Yeah. All right, North. This is uh, Detective uh, Barnes here. He's going to photograph. Okay, good. And then uh, we're going to get you out of here. All right, you good with the taking some pictures before we get you out of here? All right. This won't take long. Okay, right. Some good pictures of your hands and arms and stuff, okay? Okay. I'll start out with just like some overalls, kind of, you know, <clears throat> everything. So I can get you to step back just a little bit and we'll sort of go all the way around, all right? Can you look up it? Okay, can you turn that way. About 90, there you go. Perfect. Turn again. And let's get you from behind. Okay, you turn around towards me. All right, let's start up here. I'm just gonna kind of work my way down, right? Can you lift up your chin, please? His hand up kind of like that. There you go. And flip over. Just a little bit. Your arm, your, your arm. Just rotate it back. There you go, right there. the shit out of you playing basketball. They usually do, and that's why you see all these injuries here all the time. Can you turn off them? Just kind of pull them up a little bit. Thank you. Just kind of listen back. There you go. 
You get like that. Right there, perfect. Yeah. All right, just have a seat, and uh, we'll get your phone okay. once it gets here, and then we'll get you out of here. Um, <coughs> is there a specific place you want to go? I'd like to go back to uh, at, to Mayport, where I was staying. Mayport. All right. Um, the officer that was here, uh, they just le they left. Yeah. So we'll try to get you another ride, unless you want to get your own ride, however you want to do it. Um, no, nah, because that'd be way too expensive. You're the ones that brought me here. Uh, right, well, well, it is. So. Yeah, stand by, and then uh, okay. so whenever the officer gets here, we'll get you out here, okay? your phone. All right, now, I know you said you uh, wanted to go, but uh, there's a couple of things in your phone that I kind of want to clarify if you're okay with going over that and clarifying that with yeah, us. Yeah, do everything we can. Okay, so... So when I asked you earlier if... Um, you know, how you and uh, Mickinson got hooked up today. Mm -hmm. You said that it was just a chance encounter. You right. Saw did, did, did we reach out? Did I reach out to him or something? Well, you told me that oh, okay. it was just a chance encounter, right? That, that's that's the best I, I remember it. Okay. Well, in, in at, 5 50, at 5.50 p.m., you send him a message that says, pick me up ASAP. And he sends back, where are you at? And you said, you're at Sutton Lakes. And he asked, are you in danger? And you said, yes. Okay. I just wanted his attention. I just wanted to talk to him. Okay. You just wanted to talk to him? Yeah. You know, it's, it's 18 hours ago, man. You, d you don't remember, like, that mean, that's it? You just wanted to get his attention? Why didn't you tell us that the first time? Like, you would have remembered that. No, I, I honestly didn't. I honestly didn't remember uh, reaching out to him in that manner. From 18 hours ago, you don't remember texting somebody saying, help, like, basically I'm in danger? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I do not. Uh. Well, how did you go from he was just riding down the street and he saw you to... Because those are the occurrences that happen often with me and McKinson, so when I, you know, recollected okay. on it yesterday, that's why I assumed it So happened. it wouldn't be normal then for you to text him that, so why did you decide to do that? So we have reached out to each other in the past, you know, to check up on each other. One morning, you know, he reached out to me and we talked for hours and hours. And you guys rapped together? Vented. Kind of. Kind of. Are you a rapper? Yes, sir. Let's put some bars for me, man. <laughs> you can't do it now. No? Right. My energy's a little bit drained. Oh, come on, man. If you're a rapper, that shit just flowing, man. Come on. No. <clears throat> well, like I said, we're we're trying to unearth every stone right now, looking for Teresa. Okay. okay. Like I said, we're um, you know, listen, all we've obviously talked to Nickinson, we've talked to Zach. Okay. You know, his, you know, we've talked to her family, your family. You know. Oh, by the way, um, I spoke to your mom, and she wanted to make to uh, make sure that I let you know that it is abundantly clear that you were not welcome at their home. Okay. Just that why Okay. Why, and why, why? Why would that be? Just <clears throat> over time, deterioration, fights. And, yeah. You know, just it's hard to explain. Twenty, you know, years of life. Just to uh, recap, though, when uh, when you and uh, when you and Teresa, you said you guys were at your house, right, hanging out at some whenever you guys came back with the lift, right, right. Um, and you guys were hanging out at your house. You said for about two to three hours. 
right? Give or, give or take. Give or take, okay. Did you guys have, uh, yeah, I don't mean to pry, but did you guys have sex? Uh, yes, sir. You seem kind of hesitant, is that? Um, no, I'm just, I'm just answering the question. It just, it's just rude a little bit, but I mean, it's a very, uh, special situation, so okay. I understand the question. Okay. So you did have sex? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, well, with that being said, then obviously, would you mind if we get your DNA then? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, just because I want to, you know, make sure that we get a, uh, that we can eliminate everything. Right, right. Uh, and like I said, this is also showing just how, uh, you know, that you're cooperating. Your story is a little wishy-washy, but... Uh, <laughs> But you're cooperating. I'm, I'm trying my best to recall. Uh, you just have um, a hard time remembering shit, man? Well, honestly, I didn't expect for the day to unfold and for, you know, her to go missing. So I didn't, like, you know, quick shot any certain memories. I just sort of went about mm. it as another day. Now that everything's, you know, being forced to the surface, it's, it's a little difficult to recall, to recall it as accurate as you guys would wish me to. What, do you remember one more time what time she left your house the best you can recall? Cause I, I can't tell you an exact time. But you I, said earlier, like two, three, is that two or three hours yeah, after. Okay. That's the best I, I can estimate. And you said it was noon, one o'clock-ish, something like that, when she got to your house? Okay. Yeah. That's the best and way. she left by herself. You didn't like walk her past your front door. No, no, no. I she she walked out. She left. No, I, I walked her to the front door. That's usually what I. I don't. I walk around the back of the patio. Do you guys argue at all? Um. So with Teresa, it's a little different. Um. It's not really arguing. It's she'll have like <sighs> false memories that um. At first, I would argue with. And then after I got to understand the type of person she was, I stopped arguing with it and sort of just... And what kind of false memories would she come so up with? So she, she would say that the, the government abducted her five children, mm -hmm. and her five children were made in magic. Mm -hmm. But she's never had kids, though, right? As far as to my knowledge, as as no. Know. Okay. Uh, do me a favor, you can read that over. Uh, that's just you saying, giving us consent to get your DNA. And then just uh, whenever you're done, just sign there. And then what I'm going to do north is uh, I'm going to take some Q-tips. Okay. And I'm going to stick them in your mouth and uh, get your DNA swabs. Gotcha. <coughs> well, like I said, we went to Zach's house. She wasn't there. Um, do you, have you ever walked with... Teresa, whenever she walks home, to kind of know what kind of what path she takes. No, but I walked her house one time to see what it was like. Uh huh. Go my way, huh? Yeah. Is there yeah. any like, shortcuts through like woods or anything to get there? Um, no. As far as I know, you're pretty much on the street the entire time. On the street the entire time. Okay. Have you um looked through that route though from uh? You know, my house to her house, from Jack's house to her house, and... Yeah, we've done, so we've done a lot of looking, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the hella chopper up there. Okay. Looking. Okay. So hopefully, uh, hopefully none of that's necessary, and you know, she pops up and says, Hey, I've been here the whole time, right? All right, do me a favor, something in your mouth. If it turns out something bad has happened to her, who should be the first person we look at in your opinion? I don't know, because she, co she comes in contact with so many different people, so yeah. many guys, and I encourage her. Is she just on like social media and dating? Like, how does she do that? Just going out or what? Or just like all online stuff? I, um, a lot of people say uh, money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. I like to say attention is. Okay. Attention? Yeah. Like she just seeks attention from other dudes? Unfortunately, I feel like that, you know, some people do certain things to fill a void. Was she escorting her? My job, my job is to not judge them. Right. Escorting, no, but maybe selling a little bit of her, you know, 
body. That's what I mean, like prosecuting, kind of escorting for for substance. Okay. It's, it's so sad, and but it's so she's out there tricking. No, no, or is no, she no, just no, no, doing no. it? Just not, 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 not like not uh, on the reg. Yeah, exactly. She just does it whenever she needs to get her fix. Well, exactly. Because unfortunately, you know, she started up on ice, and I think that's an on and off thing for her. Who was the guy you mentioned earlier that you thought was her, the, the drug dealer that you're pretty sure that she was getting? The, the crack? Yeah. Um, on Facebook, his name was Hassan Ware. Okay. Hassan Ware. <coughs> it's a big, that's a big problem. With Have you met Hassan before? No, I haven't. No. Nope. What got her into drugs? Did she ever tell you, like, what led her... Is she just depressed in general? Does something traumatic happen to her when no. you were younger? No, I never got that far. I got far, you know, I've gone far with her. I've dug pretty far with her. I gotcha. But there's still, there's still a lot to unravel when it comes to somebody like that. Did you and uh, you and Teresa get into a fight or an argument today at all? Uh, or, no, not no. in person, but like, if you, like no, before y'all met up? No. What was she wearing? Do you remember? yesterday when she came over I think like uh, jeans and like a dark top like spaghetti strap like a t-shirt she does wear those a lot but just just I don't know, like black blue shirt maybe like it just a regular like it had some sleeves maybe, or maybe yeah I mean does she vape yes sir she vapes yeah okay. she wasn't was she wearing it was she wearing anything on her head like a hat or a beanie or anything or I don't remember. She wears hats all the time. She wears hats all the time? I don't remember, for sure. Do you remember any of the hats that she wears? Or anything? She wears a bucket hat very often. Mm -hmm. That's her thing. What about you? What were you wearing yesterday? Uh, Just like a white t-shirt. The clothes you got on? Not the clothes I have on. Um, I think it was a different uh, white t-shirt and um, uh, shorts. Where'd you, when'd you change clothes? Like this morning or like? I went to, when I went to go play basketball. Okay. Where are the clothes that you had on yesterday? Just on the at your parents' house somewhere? Yeah, I think I, I washed uh, them out. Yeah. So the same clothes you have on now are the same ones you wore out to Kaz's place? You didn't change out there? Um. No, because I changed after I played basketball as well. Okay. At your parents' house? Yeah, in the oh. in the back patio. Before you went to right, to right, play? right, right. What were that? What were you? I mean, what was that? Just another white T-shirt? Um. Yeah. And like shorts or what? Yeah, yeah, I just. Yeah. What about shoes? Um, the blue sprays. I, I I wasn't able to bring them. I think I kind of got pulled out of uh, Kaz's house a little too quick. I wish I would have put more clothes on, but yeah. <laughs> oh, so you have shoes at Kaz's house, blue yeah, sprays? Yes. Sir. That's what you wore yesterday too. Yes, sir. Okay. You were balling in sprays. And that's why I think I uh, rolled the ankle. Man, there's no spare. They got no yeah, ankle support, man. No, I know that, and I have high top shoes. I just forgot to grab them, so I just wanted to play <coughs> basketball. So. And you said Terrell took you back home. What kind of car does Terrell have? I'm not sure exactly. I don't pay attention to cars like that. I want to say like a gold uh, Honda or something. Gold Honda. So, and just one more time, clarify the clothes that you have on now are not the same clothes you had on when you were with Teresa yesterday. No. Okay. Where are those clothes? At, at your parents? Um. I yeah. I would have already washed them. Yeah. Okay. At your parents' house? Yeah. Are but the, they're are they at Kaz's house now because your parents pretty much packed up all your stuff, right? Mm. Or the or your, your clothes still maybe in the washing machine or something at your parents' house? It's something of that sort. I I don't know exactly <coughs> where those clothes are. If you want me to, I can. Did you take a bunch of stuff to you when you went to Kaz's? Like, did you take all your belongings? Like, you were moving. To Kaz's? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did that include like a bag of clothing or suitcase? Okay. So as far as you know, mo any of your clothing you, or anything you right, have, right, shoes, right. clothing, should all be at Kaz's. Right. Okay. Do you have other shoes besides the Blue Fairies? Yeah, I have um, some black Nikes. Okay. But you were wearing Blue Fairies when you were, went up to the park to play ball. Right. Like slam ball, basically. It looks like you're yeah. playing. <laughs> Why not wear the black Nikes then to ball? That, w that was the plan, but okay. once I got on the court, I was just like, all right, let's play. Okay. So you went to go, knowing you were going to go play basketball at the park, you left your house with the Sperry's on, not with the Nikes? All right, guys, what is this? Like, okay, right, your story's I, got, I, look, I, hey, look, man, just, hit, your story's got a lot of holes. I mean, that's just being honest with you, you know? And, and it's you our, can't explain it. Yeah, hey, it's our job to... Okay, I understand. I, I've tried everything I can with you guys. It, 
if there's anything else, you know, more related to Teresa and helping her out, I would love to talk about that's it. That's what we're trying to get to. Yeah. We're trying to get you to help us find Teresa. Okay. No, you're I, the last person that saw her. So right, okay. No, I don't, you're the last person that I don't, I don't understand why I didn't make sure that I wore the high top Nikes instead of the Sperry's. And it cost, it cost me my ankle and, you know, and that's right. how we live and we learn. And But you understand we're going to come at you. No, I know. I'm very, very careful because you're the last person that. No, and I, and I can respect that and totally understand right. that. Yeah. So, right. if you wonder, we'll know why. Well, a, there's a lot of things that you were inconsistent about. Okay, mm -hmm. call it lying, call it inconsistent, label it whatever you want to label it. But the evidence is there that some of the stuff you told us when we started our conversation, mm -hmm. right, is not true. It's just not true. Uh, I'm sure that happens a lot with. This type of situation well, it's so hard to recall things. Sometimes when there's weeks in between, it's hard, but not just a few hours, you know. At the time we started talking to you this morning, there's only been like 12 hours in between this happening. And I mean, we I'm, I mean, I'm sleep deprived now at this point. I've been kept in a room. I, I've been able to get okay. sleep. It's, it's It's been rough on me. Uh, if, if you guys want to do this again on another day, then maybe I can do, 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 do it for you. But... At this point, I'm done. I'm done. Are you worried about Teresa? I mean, do you think she, there's legit something wrong with her? Or do you think she's just out there shacked up somewhere? I'm praying that she's shacked up somewhere. Because okay. when you pull, when you pull that, tell you. What's your heart tell you? We spent two or three days, um, pretty much stuck in some guy's house. He's a tattoo. Um, uh, he does tattoos. His name's BJ. We went over there one day with uh, her and her friend to get a tattoo, right? And so I was like, okay, that sounds like fun there to watch her get a tattoo. We ended up spending three days there because the tattoo artist was not comfortable doing the tattoo. He kept uh, like messing around, pulling drugs out, obviously trying to do things, obviously trying to like pull Teresa towards his way and it ended up going day after day. And on the third day, I, I, I honestly, I gave up and I, I called my sister and told me, to, hey, just, just come pick me up. And that was that. So I, I, I do, I do a lot for her, but I don't. I can only do so much. And so my gut tells me that uh, she's grown a lot, and uh, she, she still has quite a ways. So. What's your gut tell you? Is she alive? Yeah. yeah. Cause you, when he pulled out her picture earlier, when he first showed it, you were grinning, and I just thought that was odd. Like given the circumstances. No, I was grinning because this is one of the pictures on my phone. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, is there anything else? Yeah, so no, sir. I mean, You're our last link, man. You're our last link to Teresa. Okay. Well, can I get your phone numbers then? Absolutely. Where are you going from here? Uh, back to Mayport. Okay. Back to Kazas? Yes, sir. What's his address? Um, I'll have to pull it up here for you. I don't have his actual address, but it's right behind the auto line. Is it an apartment? Yes, sir. What apartment number is it? I don't remember the apartment number. I just know how to get to it and knock on the door. But the, um, the police last night were able to get there, so okay. maybe they, they know exactly. Well, here's my card. Okay. Let's get my number on there. Okay. I'm going to put it in my phone because I'll lose the card. Your name is Detective Lee. Detective Lee. You know who the next closest person is to Teresa beside you? Zach is really close. Okay. Emily Branton is really close to her. Emily Branton. Mm -hmm. Um, Alexa. I don't remember her last name, but on Facebook you can find her. Okay. Um, her brother, and then a list of guys that I do not know exactly how close she is with or or not. Okay. You said Zach, her and Zach have like an intimate relationship, but they're cousins? Very interesting, confusing stuff that you'd want to talk more about Zach with than you'd want to talk about me with. Because I've, I've tried talking to Zach about it, and he just looked at me like, bro, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, is he your cousin? Or? It, like, she has, like, memory, she has memories and beliefs that are, like, would um, fall, uh, fall in line with someone who's, like, clinically insane, maybe. Because uh, Zach seems to care about her quite a bit as well. I know. And I tell her that all the time. Like, he, he loves you so much, so that's why I'm not trying to, like, just pull you away from him. It's 
So your gut's telling you that she's still alive? Yes. Yes. Well, I hope so. I sure do too, because it's the world. Well, you said y'all never really go more than a day or two without talking, so. I guess we'll find out. We're coming up on a day soon, so just let us know if she reaches out. No, I definitely will. Does she, she, does she like, uh, get angry when she gets upset, like violent? Like, has she been <coughs> physical with you before? Not really. No. No. Y'all never had any, like, actual physical? she get violent as far as, like, breaking things or hurt herself? She cut herself, um, I think five or six, seven days ago because she was upset at her father. Did, uh, did she ever, because she didn't have a phone, did she ever use your phone and log into her Facebook account from your phone? Yeah. She did? So you know her Facebook login and all that stuff? Or is it no, just I don't know. No. Well, all right, well, we're going to get you out of here. Uh, we're going to have the officer take you back to Mayport. I appreciate that. Um, I, got so your, I got your number. To, to appreciate you. it. Let's have a seat. Let's have a seat. No, she's not. I'm still at the police station. They're still talking to me, trying to figure out what I know. Can you hear me? The last time I the, the last time I seen her was um, over more than a day ago. Yes, and I've I've been here all all night. They've been they've been um like interrogating me, trying to figure out what's going on with her, and I'm telling them I, I don't know. I don't know where she went. Did you, did you took somebody that uh the the black boy, black guy? Did you text him about Teresa? What black guy? Uh, his name is. Um, Are you talking about Tevin? I forgot his name. What? Uh, who called a nine one one? Are you talk? Are you talking about Tevin? No, I don't know. It, uh, who is that guy? I think so. Uh, I forgot his name. But that's the one that he took talking to my uh, to my son about you guys. Teresa, what happened? Oh, you think, uh, Rick, Rick, somewhere, or? are you talking about Rick? Yeah, Ricky. yeah, yeah, you know Ricky? I don't know him, but he mess yeah. he messaged me looking for Teresa. That's why I say that I think she's gone. Uh, that yeah, you think so? Yeah, uh, why, uh, why, uh, why you don't, uh, how do you, why you, how, why you do not know that uh, Teresa with you yesterday? Why, why you don't know? He come home or what? No, I don't know. Where, I, I don't know. She usually goes home. He work by himself. What was that? He work. Uh, he working by himself. Uh, by herself. Yes. He work. Uh, you live in a. Uh, you live in the Southern Lake, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, why the? Uh, 
Why he said that uh, you live in a Mayport? Did you live in Mayport? Oh yeah, no. I mean, I'm I moved over to Mayport recently. Yes. Okay. Uh, until now, they have a detective everywhere. Uh, no, I know. Looking for her. I know. They told me. How are you doing? I'm okay, but uh, I, I wish it's okay. And uh, uh, if 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 uh, if something happened to her, you're the one to uh, involve. Well, because, I because um. I would never harm her, and I think she's okay. I, I, I just wish I knew where she was. I don't know where so, she... Where do you think she go? Where do you think she go? I don't know, because she goes so many different places, you know? Like, she goes places and doesn't even tell me. So it's hard for me to keep track of where she, she could have possibly have gone, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, we keep in touch, you know, um, because uh, I'm worried, because uh, mostly is... Uh, she called me where she at when uh, she gave me the phone number or she used somebody's phone. But this time she didn't use anybody's phone. That's why I'm worried. Gotcha. Well, if she if she reaches out to me, I'll definitely let you know. If if she reaches out to you, please let me know because I'm worried sick too. So you're working now? Um, I work at the Dollar Tree, but right now I, I can't work because they still have me in this police station. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, okay, okay. I, I wish she's okay. I, I'm sure that you're not hurt her. No, I could. I've never hurt her. I love, I love that girl to death. <laughs> okay. We keep, uh, we keep praying that she's okay. Yes, ma'am. Keep praying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey man, she's gonna give you a ride back over to Mayport. Don't forget your stuff. You can just leave that blanket on the floor wherever you want. Okay. Alright, got everything? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, goodness. Thank you. You're welcome.